Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my Hobby Lobby Haul Part 2. Well, the Clearance Haul Part 2. And I'm going to be starting off with this light gray bullet journal. It's a really nice light gray color. And it's like soft and the dot grids are light. And then it's going to be this LOL like Traveler's Notebook pack. And it comes with the eyelash journal and then the LOL girl she's so cute and I bought her for the TN from LOL I'm gonna be showing you in a bit and these were $1.99 regularly $8 so the eyelash one is a dot grid journal and they're pretty dark dots I really haven't seen any that had the dark the dots so dark so that's pretty interesting and then the LOL girl is um, a lined journal so these inserts that I bought for the TN that I purchased on the same haul you'll be seeing in a bit I'm planning to use it for like a junk journal so like a junk journal TN and the back has like writing words on it like glamorous darling beautiful I thought it was a really cute touch to it and as you may have heard me say in previous videos, I do hate lined journals or notebooks. But since it's going to be for this TN, this one was on sale for $4.99. And it's from the Watercolor Girls from the Paper Studio. It's mostly going to be covered up by other stuff anyways, so I didn't mind it being lined. Plus the cover is so cute. And then this is the, like, the journals that I got are from, like, the regular LOL Girls. And then the this TN it's from the watercolor girls but I love the light pink color and it has like four strings it's two strings right there and then two strings on this like kind of like craft paper colored notebook and then these are just white papers so it's two right there and then the two on the outside and then it's lined with like the light pink it has a pen loop and it has the floral kind of background so this is my first TN ever and since I'm already busy with like three actual planners um, this one I, I'm really like happy to use it as a junk journal just for whenever I want to do something like creative or you know test some stuff out I'll do it on here and I was super excited to get it set up already so as you may see me setting up my little journals in there already so I did put all four of the journals in there, the two LOL inserts that I bought from the paper studio. This gray one, that was 25 cents, but it actually is a little too big. When I first bought it, I, I thought it would fit perfect, but it's just a tiny bit too big, but it still fits good. Like it closes good. So you'll see how it is like, mm, I don't know, an inch bigger. But I am still going to keep it in there. And then I put the eyelash one. And then I put the craft legging paper one. But I think the gray one and like the craft legging paper one. I'm going to cover them with either some LOL paper or something like that. And then I found more of this eyelash vinyl I used to cover my desk with. And it was $1.99. Regularly $8. And when I got it on clearance I didn't notice it said new material. So the one I put on my desk, half of it is from the old one that I had because I had some left over from like another pack I had purchased and then half of it is from this pack and like right here what you see in the background is a paler pink but the new one is like thinner, a bit peachier pink and I don't like it. So hopefully they'll be going back to the old version they had and that's why they had them on clearance 
And then these were some cute pink paper flowers with the little pearl for $1.24. And this is some pom-pom trim from the Lore DIY stuff. I think literally all of her stuff at Hobby Lobby was on clearance. And I have seen some of her stuff on clearance before. And then this pom-pom trim, I freaking love it so much because it's such a bright, hot pink. It's not like a regular hot pink. It's like a bright neon pink, and I really like it. So those two trims were 99 cents, and then there's these three kind of like washi tapes, and they're 99 cents as well, but she calls them like iron-on fabric tape or something like that. And so that's a black glitter, and then this is a silver glitter. And they were regularly $3.99. And then there's like a pink glitter. So since they are like iron-on fabric tapes, they are a little thick. But in a way, that's better. Like I said in my previous haul from the Hobby Lobby clearance, literally like the whole store was on clearance. So you had to go aisle by aisle and look through the whole rows and see what you see with orange tags. Because like beads, ribbon, paper crafting stuff, like kids' toys, everything was on clearance. So then I got these washies and they're like food related washi tapes for $5 and they're regularly $20. So that's a really good deal. And they just have like donuts, pizza, like little cups, like, co like cups with straws, um, donuts, tacos. And then I found this LOL washi and it was $3.74, regularly $15. And this is the only LOL washi I don't have, I believe. So this was like all I needed to complete my LOL washi collection. And then I found this really like basic colorful washi for $3.74 again, regularly $15. Um, I wouldn't pay $15 for this, but... 374 is such a great deal way better than like when it's half off and I needed new colorful washi I didn't really have any and then I found this scalloped foam pocket and it's 124 I believe and it's gold and I got it just so that I could add it to like a future journal or something like that and then I got these super cute they're technically like shoe pom-poms for 124 see they're called shoe embellishment clip-on two piece so they had this really cute light pink kind of like the light pink pen i hauled in my last hobby lobby video and then this is the little clip-on part and i just thought wait i could put it on the tn and it looks so cute i love it so right here it's kind of like Eh, so then I just play around with it a little and I really didn't have to do anything just clip it on it was so easy and fast like right there it looks so cute I just need to add like some little charms and it would make it way better when I first got them I had thought about making like a paper clip with them or something like that so there was the pink and like a gray one and I only got one pack of the pink so I'm pretty sad about that <laughs> So then it was those eyelash paper clips for 99 cents in black and these Swarovski gems, like the real Swarovski, for only a dollar. Like, I can't wait to bling some stuff out with these. And they are kind of like a gray color. Then there's these cute kind of like girly makeup charms for $124, regularly $4.99, and they're called like the Boss Babe charms. And then this glitter, I got the pink and like a silver holographic one for 99 cents. And they were by the Lore DIY stuff. And they're technically fabric glitter, but I think it's fine to use in shakers or other stuff. Like, I mean, glitter is glitter. <laughs> and then there's these super cute, tiny little glitter pink, um, what do you call it? Clothes pins. And they were 74 cents. So I got three packs of the pink, one of the white, and one of the like, oh wait, I didn't show for some reason, but it was the blue. I got one pack of the blue as well. And then there's these Kelly Create stamps, which, oh my god, I couldn't believe, for 74 cents. Like, what? If you don't know how to do calligraphy or like, you know, write nice like me, 
this is such a good deal for these stamps for your planners especially like if you do bullet journaling I was so happy about that and then I found this um, stamp scrubber cleaning pad for $2.24 regularly $8.99 at my local Hobby Lobby, they had a bunch of the stamping and like stamp stuff on sale compared to the other one where I did the other haul on. So I found this um, like tangerine colored stamp pad for $124 from Colorbox. It cut me off and it sounds like I said Colorbop, but it's Colorbox. And then there's this like red one I got for like Christmas. 149 regularly 599 and then this one as well this memento bahama blue 149 regularly 599 i love the color of it and then there's this good vibes 99 cents and then it was regularly 399 i might be using for my target planner because it goes with it as well as this one you are something magical regularly eight dollars and it was on sale for two dollars once again, I don't think I would be paying $8 for this. And then I got some fruits. Super cute. I got some cherries, some lemon, watermelon, strawberry, and a pineapple. And I got it for $2.49, regularly $10. And all of the Paper Studio little ribbons that are regularly $1 were on clearance for $0.24. Cents after I had just bought the other ones, regular 50% off for like $0.50. Cents. Now they're all $0.24. Cents. So I stocked up on like the pom-poms. I got these I didn't have before like the autumn leaves, the orange, the black for fall and Halloween. At 24 cents I couldn't resist not grabbing all of these and stocking up for a while. And then I'll just have to pay like half price when the paper studio goes on sale. But um, I can't wait to see what new stuff they come out since all of this stuff is going to be gone. I'm excited to see the new items. Have you guys gone to check out your local Hobby Lobbies and seen if any of your stuff is on clearance yet? I know depending on where you are, it might take like one or two weeks by the time like, you know, you see other people posting their hauls for you to actually get stuff on clearance. I'm trying to talk through this whole video and not put any background music just to see what you guys like better. I think that's what I did on my previous video. I didn't put any background music. But I did have some like quiet moments. I didn't know what to say. So I'm just trying to talk through all of this video. So you guys can let me know if you like that. If you like like chattier videos, less chattier videos. I want to do like a Q&A get to know me or something like that. But I feel like you need to have more followers to do that. So you get asked like a good amount of questions. And I don't really have that many yet. So... Once I get more, I think I'll definitely do one, like qu ask me questions on Instagram. And if you haven't followed my Instagram yet, it's the same as here on YouTube and I'll put it on the screen for you right now. I have had some recent new followers and subscribers. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns ever, please leave them in the comments down below and I'll reply back to you guys. Okay, now onto these cute designer labels from the Paper Studio, regularly $5, and I got them for $0.99. Cents. Look at how, oh my god, they are just so nice. Like, I don't even know if I want to use them ever, and that's why I got two bags, so I can use them. But they're so nice, like the gold foiling, the marble, these, like, um, what do you call it? Like, uh, art technique? I don't know um the rose gold foiling like these like wow so nice i have this like paper organizer from michael's and i just have some like pink pastel labels from the dollar tree you know that big like sticker strip you get like for a dollar yeah i use some of those and for some reason i used a blue sharpie that i don't really like so i might redo them with these and i am planning to do a like room not a room tour but like a planner area tour and stuff like that pretty soon it's just i need to get my stuff together then there's these sticker books by american crafts and this one has 30 sheets and it's the jen hadfield homemade one and i purchased four different of these sticker books in total so this is one and i'm gonna do kind of like a quick flip through and this one's really like 
I don't know. I want to say like home family house type of feel, if you get me. Like mom and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> so I got them at $5. And regularly like at, I think, Joanne's or Hobby Lobby, they're $20. Like at Hobby Lobby for sure, they're $20 because it has a tag. But I know Joanne's recently started selling some, like the Journal Studio ones and the Amy Tangerine ones. So I got this one for Hobby Lobby on clearance for $5. Well, all of them that I got from here. And at Tuesday morning, they're $7. So they're even cheaper than Tuesday morning. So I got all of the ones that I didn't have. And this video is pretty long just because I found so many items at such a great deal. I feel like I don't really need to purchase anything in a while or like at least like a big haul wise, you know. Because there was just so many stuff I didn't have that they had on clearance. So I got it and I tried my best to edit this pretty short. But of course it's still long, like 28 minutes. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you guys like long videos. I personally kind of like long videos because I watch them like in the background when I'm like journaling or planning or washing dishes or something like that. It's just... You know, nice to not really watch watch, but have something playing in the background. And I say that now about not really needing anything much, like not really having any big hauls anytime soon. But let me go to Tuesday morning and find a bunch of stuff I don't have. And then I'll probably have a big haul again. Tuesday morning is just such a great store that it's so cheap so you just want to buy everything because it's so cheap compared to like the regular craft stores and sometimes even cheaper than when you use like a coupon at like michael's or hobby lobby or joanne and i've only been going to tuesday morning for like i want to say the beginning of this year but i'm not positive it might have been even later and i just discovered it by watching like you know haul videos and stuff like that and I saw like this haul video on Tuesday morning and it was like a whole new world for me <laughs> like a whole new crafting world because I had never seen something like it like it kind of reminds me of like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, um, Ross kind of because it does have kind of like the home decor and stuff like that but like I don't know super random it has like a whole craft aisle and depending on um, like your store the craft aisles can be smaller or bigger like the first ones I saw like on the halls they have some really really big craft aisles and we're not that lucky but the one that's closest to us does have some pretty good stuff mostly always me expressing my love for Tuesday morning for way too long <laughs> um if you guys haven't been definitely check out if you guys have one close to you so you could see what I'm talking about and if you guys have been I think you guys know what I'm talking about they just have so many items at such an affordable price okay so enough about Tuesday morning and let's talk about Hobby Lobby since this is what this video is about so the first sticker book I showed you was the Jen Hadfield homemade 30 sheets for $4.99 and then this one I'm currently showing you now was also $20 on clearance for $5 and this one doesn't really have a name it just says sticker book and it says 1,302 pieces so then this next one this blue one is from Dear Lizzie and it has 30 sheets and it was regularly $20 on sale for $5 oh and it says you get 1,384 stickers and in the back I kind of try to show you what they look like but I'm going to show you a flip through as well so I mostly have all of these sticker books. Um, the only ones I know for sure I don't have are the like workout wellness one and the one that's I think either like home or productivity and it has a bunch of little icons like you know to like payday and stuff like that. I don't really need that one so I didn't get it. I have to check Joann's next time I go because I know from Hobby Lobby I just got the ones that were on sale that I didn't have and that I wanted and then I know from Tuesday morning as well I have the ones that I like the whole collection pretty much 
So I just need to check Joanne's next time I go to make sure I do have all of them. I will be filming a social media plan with me today. I'm excited to do this theme. Um, you guys have to wait and see till tomorrow what I'm going to pick out. But it's so cute. I'm so excited to do that. And I do have some cute tutorials as well planned for this week. So stay tuned for those. I know I was excited when I saw these. So I think you're going to want to recreate these. I do have the writing supplies that I bought on my last Hobby Lobby clearance separated to swatch them for you guys because I know I said I would swatch them for you guys and I have them separate in a little pencil pouch. I still haven't put them away. I just have them on the pencil pouch just to swatch for you guys. So I might add that at the end of the social media plan with me just so you guys can see the like um, devotional um, pens that I got. They are so nice and the like fluorescent neon gel pens I got. I know I said it already but if you don't already follow me on Instagram and you want to see kind of like more live videos when I'm like at the store or you want to know sooner about sales stuff like that I do post on my stories like sometimes like when I'm at the store like I did like a couple little hauls barely the other day that don't really make to be long enough for a video so I just posted on my story like from Walmart and Dollar Tree um, Staples um, Hobby Lobby also I went this past weekend again with my friend she barely started getting into like planner stuff because of me so I have like a planner friend now which is exciting <laughs> so that was like the third time in a week that I went to Hobby Lobby but this time since I had a, this haul was from my local Hobby Lobby and then when I went with my friend I went to my local one again there wasn't really much that I didn't purchase already, so I just got like four small items that I found that I hadn't seen when I went before. And that little TN sticker was so cute, so random, but that was so cute. That's why I pointed at it. Happy Monday if you guys are watching this when I post this on Monday. I hope you guys had a great weekend and continue to have a great rest of your week. Stay tuned for all the videos I have planned for this week. And definitely let me know once again in the comments if you like the no music in the background when I talk. If you just want music in the background. Um, I don't know. Let me know your guys' preferences. Um, I definitely like the music in the beginning when I first show what I bought so you get like an overview glimpse of what's shown just in case if I don't really show anything like a single item like really good um when I'm showing it one by one you hopefully get a good glance um when I first show it like in the beginning little overview video I do Okay, so now we're on to the regular, like, loose little stickers. And these were the Zoo ones, and they were 99 cents from Paper House. Regularly $4, and the back is kind of like an aquarium side. Well, yeah, it really is, like, the aquarium side. But sometimes at the zoo, you know, like, at the San Diego Zoo, they have, like, water animals, too. And then these were 74 cents, regularly two ninety nine from the Paper Studio. And they're kind of like puffy neon stickers, like a, a bunch of like random girly stickers. And then there's these pineapple ones, regularly two ninety nine, also seventy four cents from the paper studio. And they're just kind of like some gold glitter and like black glitter pineapple stickers. Then I found these super cute Christmas stickers. Like look at that little Santa, he's just so cute and happy. And they're regularly $4 from Soft Spoken, Me and My Big Ideas. And I got it for $0.99. Cents. And it's just so cute. It kind of reminds me of a pastel Christmas, but not all the way. And then also from Soft Spoken, Me and My Big Ideas, I got these Halloween ones. And they were $0.99 cents as well, regularly $4. Are you guys excited for fall slash Halloween? I am just because I'm ready for it not to be this hot anymore like in California it's been like a hundred and something and I feel like 
the sun just burns way different than like when you involve humidity in it like we are actually getting burnt by the sun rays out here when we went to texas in june my cousins were asking like how hot it was and like they were saying basically oh it's not as hot as over here and we're like yeah um we actually get burnt out here like it's a different type of summer heat than texas like the humidity and stuff like that so the jolie's boutique golf was regularly four dollars and the other like travel jolie's boutique was regularly four dollars and i got it for 99 cents and i got those for my texas trip we went to top golf which was really fun have you guys ever been to a top golf and then i found this autumn sticker well stick o brand stickers and these like fall leaves as well and i love these because of the gold foiling and these were all 49 cents regularly two dollars and then also from the stickers i had got like the what well, <laughs> i keep saying stickers sticko it was the happy birthday girl balloons and then these are kind of like also autumn fall um like trees and acorns but i might use it for my canada pictures and then these like cactus again 99 cents I mean 49 cents all of the stickles were 49 cents and then here's another one and I mainly got it for those yellow flowers I saw in Canada and I have pictures of and then again 49 cents regularly $2 um, I forgot the name of the yellow flower but it was really nice in person it was so beautiful I had never seen those in person before and they had so many of them all around and then there's these cute coffee cups regularly four dollars from the paper studio and i got them for 99 cents and it just has like um a glitter little coffee sleeve and this cute red heart and then there's these like white and silver snowflakes they are 57 cents regularly 229 and these are from sandy lion and you get two four six eight pieces in this one eight little holographic um snowflakes and then there's these cute little snowmen. They're so cute. And also from Sandy Lion. And regularly $2.29. So I got them for $0.57. Cents. And these kind of just remind me like of a traditional Christmas. And then there's this cute little pack of like a summer pool vibe stickers. And these are like a little raised puffy. So these are regularly $2.99. I got them for $0.57. Cents from Sandy Lion. So they're all like pool floats and one of them, no, two of them have a girl and one of them has a guy. And then once again, these like traditional Christmas ones. I like the Santa, it's 57 cents, regularly to 29. And then from the paper studio, regularly $4. I got it for 99 cents. There's like cheeseburger and french fries. I forgot to share these in my last haul and that's going to be all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.